This is how to use the tools for Character Creator that helps you to pose a model avatar. Okay, so what we do is go ahead, first of all, make sure she's selected, he's selected. And then we go ahead and hit the N key on your keyboard. That brings up this, the Edit Pose menu. Now what you can do is click on any one of these dots here. It corresponds with a part of her body. Okay, this one in the middle will help you make them bend have them sit down okay then if you hit the control or the alt key and the right um, key on your mouse you can rotate the person okay this will help you rotate the entire body or the bottom of the body do the same thing with that okay now we can go ahead and move them back up by clicking this button again and then go ahead and stand them back up. Now, if you click on the shoulder, you can click on the rotation tool. Simply use the rotation tool to rotate that part of the body. Do the same thing for the head. Click the head. Make it say yes, 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 I will. Do what you ask me to do. Or not a chance, buddy. Okay. Now, this is actually a good thing because then you can set it up any way you want to. You want her looking at someone over to the right? That is the right, yeah. Looking over to the left, 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 left, left. You go ahead and click this button here. You can rotate that arm up just a little bit. Maybe she wants to say hello. You click the wrist. You can turn that hand around. And she can say hello. Or pretend to say hello. Or to say hello to an extent that she just doesn't want anybody to really know I'm saying hello to you. But I'm going to say it anyway. Hi. That's one of those high moves. Okay, anyway. So after we move this, if she's holding something, you can click one of these buttons here. And you can use it to move the hand. Okay, let's go ahead and move the body down a little bit here. If you hold the Alt key and the left control click button, you can move the person around so you can zoom in closer and see what it is you want to see. You may want her to grab something. Okay, so you can go ahead and choose a finger a little bit at a time, one of the parts of the thumb, and you can go ahead and move around by click holding down the Alt key, holding down the Alt key and using the right click button on the, on the mouse. And you can move those fingers around Okay, have her hold on to something. Take your time. Don't do it like I'm doing it. Pretty much messing up everything. You can always reset to or you can hit Control Z and back up a couple of steps. Okay, a few steps. You can step away from it for a minute to see how you worked it out. You can go ahead and click on the thumb and have that move in. Okay. All right, and you can set it up any way you want to. All right, wonderful. Let's go ahead and use the Alt key and the left mouse button. We're gonna go ahead and spin them around by using the Alt key and the right button. Let's go ahead and zoom her out a little bit. Bring her back over so you all can see her. I can see her. I can move stuff. Okay, now go ahead and move that arrow around. And like I said, you can turn it to the side. Right hand control. Okay, now you can move knees. Hips. Middle of the body. Okay, any way you want to, instead of whatever pose that you choose. Let's go ahead with the Alt key. Bring her back around to the front. Go ahead and fold that arm just a little bit. Bring it in. Bring it in, buddy. 
There you go. Now this looks kind of raggedy, but you can set it up any way you want to. Okay. Um, just wanted to share how to use the tools. And these are the tools you can use. Like I said, you can go right into the middle there. And you can cause her to bend, lean or bend or bow. Okay. And use the central key here to make her stoop down just a little bit more as if she's getting ready to jump. Okay, maybe she's jumping into a river. Maybe someone's chasing her. She's about to fall off a cliff and she wants to jump in. Okay, so you want her to get into the position of that. Um, you might want to have some uh, props around her and those kind of things like trees and things. We're not going to do that now. This is basically just to show you how to edit the pose. Okay, let's go ahead and put the head up a little bit there. Okay. And you can turn her head too. Look, look over her shoulder. See if the person's still coming. Do I need to jump off this cliff? All right, so she's ready to go. Thank you very much for watching. Just thought I'd share that with you. Something I learned today. Thank you very much and have a great day. There will be more in the coming days.